Welcome back to the off-road course at Natrax on the outskirts of Indore where we're all set for the final event of Mahindra Baha SAE India 2014, the flagship endurance race. Our teams are all set, they've lined up in the order of their performance from the acceleration test and they're going to be flagged off very soon for a four-hour race around this bespoke 3.5 kilometer course where they're all set to demonstrate both the reliability and durability of their off-road buggies. After three days of high tension and long hours, 105 buggies lined up under starter's orders for the four-hour endurance race. With spirits high, the entire grid set off behind the race director for a sighting lap before settling down to await the ceremonial flag off. Pole sitters team Nemesis Racing from College of Engineering Pune blasted off the line and into the early lead. But with a lot of running, pit stops and tense battles ahead, there was still all to play for. And for the teams and their buggies, this was literally make or break, with a full year's worth of work hanging in the balance. Earlier our design was a quite bit simpler, but this year we didn't compromise in any design. We made our roll cage very strong, and also we ensured that any kind of stress, any kind of obstacle will come, we are ready for it. The track was superb, it was awesome. Uh, our driver truly enjoyed it and uh, uh, there were some mishaps but it was, uh, it was really a very, very nice one. With so many buggies running at speed, the race officials had made even more changes to the 3.5 km long track. Making sure that it was safe but still challenging enough for the buggies and the driver's concentration. We have this time made the, made the endurance track a little bit more difficult than last time where we have deep ruts. So uh, they'll have to be careful uh, navigating that track. It's possible they could get stuck or come into a situation where if they're not careful they could overturn also. Uh, we have that, we're using, uh, you know, three curves up the hills, so uh, that's also uh, very interesting. And this time we have a water section, uh, it's a long water section, uh, so that you're going to be seeing cars uh, splashing their way through, uh, and some of them, you know, probably getting stuck too. The endurance race is a battle of speed and strategy, with teams planning the fuel stops well in advance and giving their drivers target times to ensure the ideal blend of speed and fuel efficiency. But no amount of planning can prepare you for the challenges that Mother Nature or an aggressive competitor may pose. As the race ran past the first hour, some teams were already on the sidelines or in the pits trying to repair damaged parts and get their drivers back on track. The endurance race was much better than last time. It was a little bit tougher. There was um, a muck patch and, you know, it was more tough. So uh, the competition level increased and uh, it was much more fun in that way. The overall experience was going, going very good, but uh, there was a technical, uh, technical problems in our vehicle. And at the last minute, uh, after the completion of the 2.5 laps, uh, our uh, coupler got uh, loose and uh, our vehicle uh, started to lose power. So we couldn't uh, finish our endurance. Another vehicle of, uh, from another college actually damaged the vehicle. That's why we were not able to finish with a decent score in the entrance event. Apart from it, the vehicle was uh, doing good in the entrance event. As the minutes ticked by and the dust rose, the crowds kept cheering. The sponsors and organizers reflected on just how much progress had been made over the past seven years. Since inception to today, the quality levels uh, of the machines, the quality of the event itself, the people uh, slowly, you know, the, from the industry, from the colleges, uh, who are aware of this particular event now, vis-a-vis -vis what it was when it started, the entire scale has just, you know, uh, gone 10 times or 20 times, I would say. Uh, we, we're very keen to keep uh, sponsoring uh, SE Baja. It's not so much about Cummins, it's more about 
the broader population of uh, good young students coming through in India. Midway through the race, the runaway leader's team Nemesis pulled up with suspension trouble, allowing another favoured team, Junkyard Warriors from Sant Longowal Institute in Punjab, to take the lead, while local team GS Racers also moved into contention. We don't think too complex, we go for simple things. Our vehicle, if you look at our vehicle, is also very simple. And uh, we just concentrate on our work. We analyzed what, we, what the mistakes we did last year and we improved on that. While the marshals kept a sharp vigil on the track and quickly cleared away any broken down buggies, the bulk of the field kept running. And after four hours of dust, speed and true endurance, it was the junkyard warriors from Punjab who took the checkered flag. I just don't have words to explain it and uh, I just want to uh, you know specially mention our driver because I don't think anybody could have driven a 300 kg car as well as he did. You know especially in events like suspension and traction and maneuverability, especially hill climbing and endurance. The way he drove the car I don't think that there is any driver that is better than him. Endurance race was very good. We were in the second race in endurance. कुछ मिस्टेक हो गई पर ना फर्स्ट भी आ सकती थी पर सेलिब्रेशन फॉर सम डिसअपॉइंटमेंट्स फॉर अदर्स रिलीफ प्लास्टर्ड अक्रॉस द फेसेस ऑफ एब्सोल्युटली एवरीवन दिस वाज इंडीड अ रेस ऑफ अट्रेशन टाइम फॉर अस टू टेक अ क्विक ब्रेक बट स्टेट ट्यून्ड बिकॉज़ कमिंग अप ऑन द अदर साइड इज़ द ऑल इम्पोर्टेंट प्राइस डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन